five tips on your Olympus camera coming up. Hi there, my name is Peter Voiceguard. I am a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And this video I will give you five tips about the usage of your Olympus camera. And it's a long time since I made these tips videos. They used to be quite popular a couple of years ago when I made them, made them more frequently. But I hope this one is also helpful for you. Some of them might be familiar and some of them might not be. And there are a few really cool tricks for exposure, for example. And something that I have to think or rethink about exposure. That's interesting. Well, the first one is uh, when you're shooting black and white, you might want to use the monotone or monochrome picture, prof picture profile uh, when you're making the images. Then you have the view in black and white, what the scene will look like. But there is one uh, interesting thing if you're using Lightroom. When you import images that are taken with monochrome uh, picture profile, it will show that it was taken with that, because Lightroom has a bit, bit different ways of, of uh, showing the different picture profile. It um, takes it from the camera. And when you have it on camera monochrome uh, profile on Lightroom, the problem is that you cannot use the uh, color sliders to uh, which work kind of like the um, different uh, uh, filters that you can use in black and white. The way to fix this is to change all the images to Adobe Monochrome. Then you can, then you have access to all these sliders in, uh, well, the color sliders, so that you can uh, uh, adjust the different colors to be different uh, grayscale values. So if you uh, move the red one, the red will get darker or lighter, so that can you can make a bit of a different look into your black and white image. That's something that uh, you might consider, but um, use the Monochrome picture profile if you are shooting black and white. And remember, you can also adjust the curves and you can even use some filters with this. And I do have a video about black and white photography and you can watch it from there. I will talk a bit more about the picture mode settings in tip number three. And then one touch white balance. Usually auto white balance works perfectly fine, but some, there might be some uh, occasions that you need to have precise white balance. And there is a good way. Just uh, set one touch white balance to a uh, function button, press that, and then you point your camera to the uh, uh, white piece of paper and grab an image and it will use that as a white reference. So everything will be white in that light because you have the white reference there. And there is also a, a small trick that you can use. If you want a bit warmer shades, use light blue target as a white. Trick the camera a bit. So if you're using a light blue target on one, on one uh, touch uh, uh, white balance, you will get a bit warmer colors or warmer tones in your image. That might be something that you might want to do. And important thing when you're using the, the target to determine the white balance is to have it exactly in the same light as your uh, subject will be. So that, that's really important, otherwise it won't work. Or will or it works, but it will give you a different results and not the results that you might want. But there are some tricks on this, and that one is that use light blue target to get warmer tones. And tip number three, you can adjust the picture modes that you have in your Olympus camera. There are several things that you can do. I already talked a bit about that when I was talking about the monochrome picture mode. You can set the contrast, saturation and sharpness to your likings. And then you can adjust gradation, which I usually have on normal. There might be a good thing to have it on auto. It will divide the image into different uh, sections depending on the tones or the, uh, or the values of, of highlights and shadows. And it will treat uh, those areas a bit different. And that will be useful if you are uh, shooting a very, very high contrast scene. That might give you a bit better dynamic range. So you might want to test and, and see how that uh, gradation thing works. And then you might want to use high key or low key. And of course, high key is for bright subject and low key is for darker subject. You might want to give it a try and see how that affects your image. The customizability is quite huge in Olympus cameras. And uh, there's one uh, trick that you can use with the, with the customizable buttons. Set up the preview button to wherever you like it. I have it here. 
The reason I have it here is it's easy to just to press it with the finger when you're photographing. And it will show me the depth of field. When I press it down, it will show me the depth of field. And also, if it's uh, really dark, you might want to use uh, so-called light boost to see better your images. If, if you're in a dark spot, you won't see that much on your uh, viewfinder and it might be hard to get the, uh, the, not the exposure, but the focusing correct if you're using manual focus lenses. But uh, if you're assigning a light boost to the preview button, then it will brighten up the scene and you will see a lot better to focusing or, or to focus. If you have your light boost on all the time, you won't see the exact exposure on your screen. But of course, if that's something that you prefer, you might want to do that, but it's not something that I recommend. I recommend having the light boost off so you can actually see what the image will look like. Because Visivug is one of the biggest advantages of mirrorless cameras over DSLRs. But sometimes when it's really dark, you want to have the, uh, uh, the EVF or the LCD brighten up and using light boost might help, but no, do not have it on all the time. Just use a button for the live boost. And then the histograms green area. I remember this because Rob Drake had an excellent video about this. But there's one more thing that I want to add to that is that you can connect the spot metering to your uh, focusing point. And there is a very interesting concept uh, regarding the green area on the histogram. The uh, uh, green area shows the middle part of the image. But if you have spot metering and the spot meter is connected to your focusing point, then it will show the values or, or the, the grayscale values from 0 to 25. It will show where that particular area lands on that. So as, as you can see from this example. This is a very handy way of making exposure in landscape and uh, cityscapes, for example, where that little a big contrast. You can check where the a certain area of the image lands in the histogram. Very, very good way of making a perfect exposure. And this made me think because I've made a video where I said that all these metering modes are totally obsolete because you need to use uh, ETTR and flag colors. But now, when I start really thinking about this, this might be a, a bit change for me when I do my exposure. I might start using the spot meter because I always have it connected to the uh, focusing point. Just because then I can see where that particular uh, place falls into that histogram. What are the grayscale value for that particular spot? And I think that is really a, it's not a game changer, I would say, but it's a big, thing that might change the way I make my exposure. At least in some cases, like cityscapes and landscapes and, and stuff like that. It won't work if you have face uh, priority uh, exposure on. It will, you know, turn it off, which, which is a pity. It would have been great if that, that would have worked, but it doesn't. And this works in the newest Olympus cameras. Not sure about the EM10 Mark IV because, unfortunately, I do not have it right now. I should have checked it from uh, the manual, or online manual, but uh, I didn't. But I put it here as a text if it works or not. Yeah, I know, I should check these things beforehand, but <laughs> when I'm recording it, I did not. Sorry about that, but you saw the information on that. And there is a link to that Rob Trex video, which is an excellent video and, and is a bit more about the histogram and, and the different colors that you that you have and he has a very good explanation about the green area. But I just wanted to add that spot metering stuff to that. I hope these were really helpful and here are some more videos about different tips and tricks on Olympus cameras. You might want to watch those if you haven't seen them before. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.